Sub-Saharan and other African migrants desperate to reach Europe are facing dire consequences when they leave the North African coast. We're learning many who try to make it to the EU are being picked up before they make land and they're getting dropped off in the desert. And now a new report claims EU nations are reportedly funding these roundups. For example, the most common route for African migrants trying to make it to Europe is through Italy, with many arriving on the island of Lampedusa. However, getting there is perilous. Boats capsize and people drown. And more recently, they're getting picked up by the Tunisian Coast Guard only to be trucked to the African desert at Tunisia's borders with Libya and Algeria and left to their own devices to survive. Migrants who arrive in Tunisia say food, water and even work are particularly non-existent. Migrants want the Tunisian government to let them pass to Europe. However, the Washington Post, along with a consortium of international media outlets, revealed this week that the European Union and individual European nations are financing and supporting Northern African countries' efforts to stop the flow of migration. The investigation reveals the African nations are intercepting boats of migrants in the Mediterranean Sea, bringing them back to Africa, and then dropping off the migrants hundreds of miles inland. The migrants are being left in the middle of the desert, exposing them to kidnapping, extortion, torture, sexual violence, and in the worst instances, death, according to the year-long joint investigation. Activists seeking better human rights and humanitarian aid for the migrants say the EU is directly responsible. In June 2023, the European Commission brokered a deal with the Tunisian government, promising just over 1 billion euros for the African nation in order to help stabilize its economy and stem the flow of migrants leaving the Tunisian coast for Europe. According to the AP, the Tunisian Coast Guard's efforts are working, saying they've prevented more than 21,000 migration attempts by land or sea this year. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. If you want more stories just like this one, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit san.com.